Welcome back, everybody, to your three-man booth, NFL Week 7 with Dan Salem, Phil, and Bud. I mean, we've got a month and a half of games under our belts. And honestly, we're doing really well picking against the spread. I can't say anything else for our New York football teams, but Bud hit up a 2-0 and week last week to get to 500. I'm still doing really well, even though I put up a goose egg. Phil beat me head-to-head and went one and one. <laughs> there wasn't much of a matchup. Houston didn't cover the 10 and a half points. No, I guess no surprise now. Phil, what, what do you got for week seven for us? Well, keeping with that theme, and I know it's kind of cheating, but I'm going to take Arizona and I'm going to lay 17 and a half because I have no reason to think that Arizona, what Arizona did to Cleveland, and I was all, of, all over Cleveland that game. I thought they were going to win no problem. Arizona just beat the crap out of them. I mean, it wasn't even close. Yeah, there was no Nick Chubb or whatever. Arizona's that good. Kyler Murray's that good. DeAndre Hopkins just does whatever the hell he wants. And there's no way Houston's going to stop them. So I'll take 17 and a half, and I won't even worry about it. Hell, I might even take that for real this, this Sunday. And then I'm just going to – right now I'm going to bet against Geno Smith. So give me this minus five and a half against the Seahawks. Yeah, the Seahawks had a nice little comeback win on Monday, but Pittsburgh sucks. They're not – they are not good. They were winning that game – team at the half and they let them right come back but but pittsburgh won that game in overtime i know i know <laughs> but 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 seattle came back oh. and made it a game they should have right. been blown out that game. i'll take the saints saints minus five and a half i like it but who do you got for week seven um i'm taking carolina mm, first uh, because i think the i think the giants are um the worst team in football we're going to debate that and, in a moment uh, yeah and uh Lay the points. And I am going to take uh, Green Bay, who's laying nine and a half against uh, Washington. You know, it's funny, the Green Bay lost the first game of the year and everyone was like, oh boy, Aaron Rodgers, you know, he didn't look great. And he has proceeded to look awesome (laughs) the last five weeks. And they are a a five and one football team and just cruising. And I, I would be hard pressed to say that maybe even Green Bay is better than Kansas City right now, at least the way that they're playing. So I'll take, uh, I'll lay the points and take Green Bay. Yeah, I like it. And and to, to segue off of that for my picks, I'm not particularly impressed with the Chiefs right now, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, their offense was overcoming their slightly above average defense the last two seasons, and they dominated. This year, the offense maybe is not quite as dominant, and the defense, uh, Tennessee's getting five and a half at home, and Tennessee really hung with and then outright defeated the Buffalo Bills, which really impressed me. Now, Derrick Henry owned that game, and I see no reason why Derrick Henry won't own the Chiefs. If they control the game again, and then then, then it's Tennessee's to lose. They're going to be at home, and they're getting five and a half, so I'm taking the Titans. And then It's going to be the Derrick Henry show again. But it's been like that for the last five weeks. No, I know, and, and Kansas City's not going to stop him either. Yeah, he's got 10, 10 rushing touchdowns in the last in the last five weeks. Yeah, the ten. Chiefs, the Chiefs are no New York Jets. They're not stopping. <laughs> the the a, Jets might actually have a better defense in Kansas City right now. Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, they do. I'm going against the trend of I'm picking another home team because the road teams are dominating ATS this season. I'm going to take the the Ravens. They're giving up six at home. Their defense, I was shocked how much they just stopped the Chargers last weekend. I really thought that was going to be more of a shootout-style game, and Baltimore's defense shut them down. Like, not even not even a question. They're going to do it again. I mean, they're giving up six. It's, it's a, not, a, not a big deal. They're playing the Bengals. It's a divisional game. They should own the Bengals. Now, I like Cincinnati. They're an up-and-coming team. They're pretty good. But they are not on Baltimore's level, and – I don't, I don't see this being particularly competitive the way Baltimore shut down the Chargers. I think they'll do the same to Cincinnati and win easily by over a touchdown. Week seven. All right, Bud, you have a great question to pose to ourselves and the NFL world at large. But I just, you know, I, I texted both of you yesterday and I, I said, are the Giants the worst team in football? And I happen to think that they are. Phil said that, well, you know, the Lions are 0 and 6, but the Lions have been competitive in pretty much all their games except for one. Jets, they're rebuilding. The Jags, they're rebuilding. 
you know, Miami, you know, I don't think anybody's really sold on Tua, right? So, I mean, where, where, where are they? The Giants had expectations of winning the NFC East this year. Each week, they, and this is, this is coming from a Jets fan. They look, <laughs> they look unprepared, unmotivated. Their defense that was great last year, which was holding them into games, is giving up yards and points uh, that they shouldn't be. Daniel Jones looks terrible. Um, they, they can't score points at all, at all. They, they, they scored 11 points, and they were winning that game after the first quarter, 3 nothing. The Rams didn't even play their starters or nobody in the fourth <laughs> quarter. So in two quarters of play, the Giants gave up 38 points. I, I must point so, out that Phil looks outright scared right now at what's going to have to come after this season because of the state of this football team. I don't know what happened to their defense either, but I know that they have really some good offensive players, but they're not playing well as an offense. Yeah, except they're all hurt. Well, yes, they're hurt. Yeah, and, but and but are they going to be back next season to make up for it? I don't know. I can't really debate the fact that they're you know one in five, so the record speaks for itself. But I will say, if of course no one's ever healthy, but he's had two good games. Galladay hasn't played in three out of the five games. Um, Kadarius Tony, who is, listen, let me tell you this before we get into that. Kadarius Tony is going to be better than Odell Beckham. I'm telling you this right now. If he didn't get hurt on that first series of the game, he would have had 20 catches. I know you guys probably didn't see it, but Kadarius is going, he had six catches in the first quarter. Well, hold on, hold on. In the context of being the worst team, they're not, they, not, they're, I mean, it's the construction of the team, right? Right. And this team was predicated on Saquon Barkley being healthy, which he has yet to be. And it's killed them. No, so he had two games. I, I, I'd give him. I'd give him one game. I'd say the, the game against the Saints that they was he there that game? And I don't even remember. It's been so long. Anyway, it's been tough because no one's been healthy. Daniel Joe that one against Dallas. Uh, who knows what would have happened because Barkley was out in the first series. Then Daniel Jones gets his head knocked off. Right. So, so if the team was fully. If the team was fully healthy, are they the worst team? Probably not. But at this point, I can't really debate it. It, it, it's funny every year we have this conversation, Phil, and it's, you know, if if they're healthy, if they do this, if – listen, as a Jets fan, I, I call it like I see it because they just suck and they don't have very good players. But as a Giants fan, you know, like – and do not take this the wrong way. It, it's like you're always trying to make excuses for what – listen, a lot of this falls on poor coaching. Um, a lot of this falls on development and – construction of the team Gettleman is I mean I think we all agree that he's gone I mean somebody somebody's got to be the falling head here as great as Saquon was in his first year the debate was always why do you take a running back with the number two pick they don't have a long lifespan and for the last three years he cannot stay on the field can't debate it right look at McCaffrey look McCaffrey was the hands down number one player in the NFL McCaffrey's done he, he was he was pretty he was out pretty much the whole year. Trust me, I have him right. in my fantasy. Well, and and, and one of the one of the reasons I like Joe Douglas for the Jets is because he's been picking running backs in the later rounds, where the payout for these guys is small, but you can still get the same potential development a year or two later instead of right away. It, it's it's right. so hard because you you do you get two great seasons out of these guys and they're amazing, but like they're only going to help you if you're already a Super Bowl contender. The Giants are going to have major, major, major. I mean, you threw all this money at Galladay. He g- guy can't stay on the field. He couldn't stay on the field last year. You knew he was injury prone. He's played like a quarter and a half this year. He, that, I mean, you're not getting any, any, any output from him. They are, they are so far behind Dallas. It's not even, it's not even close. Da- Dallas is le- a legitimate Super Bowl contender. You know what's funny? The, the teams are constructed. And Phil, those guys, Phil, you you know I'm right. No, well, I know that's why I I, I just I, it, it pains me to hear that. I'm not sure their defense is good enough to truly like get that far, but their their offense is good enough to to make waves in the playoffs. I, I we can't. Their offense can outscore right. everybody. Yeah. They, right. they they didn't play a very good game against New England, and they just they still won right down the field. Well, so mm-hmm. uh, until until they prove me wrong, Houston is the worst team in the NFL right now, uh, hands down. The Giants are two last second field goals away from being three and uh, three and two right now. 
But you you can't deny that the last two weeks they they they've looked completely unprepared and outmatched. Oh, I'm, I, I, that's true. I'm just saying, if you want to play the shoulda woulda game, you know, Giants are two field goals away from being three and three. They're about to lose another game this weekend if they're still going to play shorthanded, and it's getting real ugly real quick. I mean, well, it, it, expectations are, are expectations are a killer, right? What what year is this? Is this year three for Joe Judge? Because no, this two. is two. Year two. I hate to I hate to, to kick a coach aside earlier than five seasons. I feel like you got to give the coach some time to get his guys in, his guys, or to like coach the team to in his mold, get his coordinators that actually work, and then succeed. Right, and five years is kind of a window. You never get that long, but I'd love to see it. But with Gettleman going, the new GM is going to want to bring in a new coach. It's really, really, it's because we saw with the Jets. They brought in the new GM. They gave the coach an extra season. He shit the bed. They fired him. Well, well but I, I want to play counterpoint. The Giants have good players. I, I think that Daniel Jones can be a successful quarterback. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it with the Giants. I think Trevor Lawrence has a much higher upside than um, Daniel Jones. Supposed to. Well, yeah, he's supposed to. But, like, I think if you were to put, you know, and this is the problem with, with you know, taking – world-class talent which the trevor lawrence was supposed to be and is supposed to be and putting him on a really bad football team that's been bad for 24 he's, years he's one of the top 30 people in the entire world that can play quarterback regardless of how he's performing <laughs> right and there's a seven billion people and he's one of 30 you know he's he's pretty good but yeah he's, you put him on that shit team and he looks like crap it's just and it's right but the, the, the giants don't even have like a backup plan like if they wanted to take out Daniel Jones, I mean, Glennon is, is, I mean, he's not a viable backup, right, Phil? No, but, but nor should he be, nor should he be. What's the deal with Nick just Foles? Like, <laughs> ju- just like there's no viable backup plan for the Jets, and nor should there be. Well, somebody's going to get fired. I mean, if, if I mean, <laughs> they, there's a possibility, and we talked about this last week. I mean, they may only win two or three games. That would be really, really bad. I don't see it being much better for them right now, unless these guys come back healthy, like in a miracle performance. They needed the week six by the Jets got. It's a good thing you spent all that money on those PSLs, Phil. Do we think the Cardinals are the best team in football? They're undefeated. They've beaten the Rams. They've beaten. Uh, it's, I mean, they, they, the rest of their 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 wins are not overly impressive, but they've won impressively. No, I think it's I think it's either the Rams or the Bucks. It's yeah, it's the Bucks till further notice. I mean, they just do whatever they want and score whenever they want. It's it's incredible. This is the point in the season where Tom Brady has to slow it down so he can turn it on again in December. He's got to slow it down for a couple of months. He's he's an old man. I mean, it's no it's not deniable, right? They don't have the running game they had last year. They do have that defense. I'm just curious. They they, they they're in a tough spot because I don't think he can, he can't keep it up with the throwing. He didn't keep it up last week. I know it's Thursday night football, but. And I still think the, I still think the Bills in the AFC. I mean, I know they had a stinker last night, but most people who play against Derrick Henry have stinkers. So yeah, and, and it's not like uh, they it's not like they were bad. They just didn't win. All right, Jets and the Giants both play this week. Are we looking at any victories for our teams? The Jets have a winnable game against New England. The Giants, not so much. No. 